What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we got a brand new swim bait mold from Dual Molds. This is the 4.25 inch Quaken Shad. I really, really like the way this bait looks. It's real slender in the body, nice kicker tail in the back, a little paddle tail in the back. I like the narrowness of this bait. I think you're gonna be able to use it in a ton of different situations. I think you can drop shot this bait. I think it can be a swim jig trailer. I think it can be a spinner bait trailer. You can sw fish it weedless on, you know, one of your bladed weedless hooks with have little blade on the bottom i'm blanking on the names of them right now you can fish this so many different ways and we're going to make up some of these baits in today's video i'm really excited about this mold i'm really excited to fish these baits guys as usual in these tackle making videos i have an affiliate link and a product list down in the description of today's video that that link that i'm talking about is an affiliate link to do it molds that's the only way that they're going to know that i sent you to their website so make sure to copy paste save that link click on that link save it for free to use anytime you guys go to the dual molds website to make a purchase please use that affiliate link so they know that i sent you and you know what guys i decided that in today's video we're going to give these baits away i don't know how many baits we're making i don't even know exactly what color we're going to be making but we're going to give some baits away in today's video so here's what you got to do to get in on the giveaway you got to like today's video comment on the video share this video out and be subscribed to my channel pretty simple things it's what i normally do in my giveaway videos whether it's the fishing ones or these tackle making ones so make sure to like the video comment on the video share this video out and be subscribed to the channel i'm gonna let this video go out for one week after the date and time that it goes live in order to get some people to get in on the giveaway give people a chance to watch the video and comment and do everything that they need to do so one week from the date and time that it goes live to when i start choosing the winner um, but again guys all you gotta do is like the video comment on the video subscribe to the channel and share the video out those four things will get you in and get you a chance to win some swim baits we're gonna be Making laminated swim baits in this video it means one color is going to be different on the top and the bottom. And we got pearl powder and blue pearl highlight. We're going to add these to our cups right now with just a measuring spoon and it's a half teaspoon. So it's going to actually end up being a quarter teaspoon because I'm doing about half of what I have in the spoon. And then we're going to do the same amount to our blue side, about a half teaspoon. Pour it in there. But as you can see, that pearl's coming through right now. My uh, plastisol did yellow slightly, a little bit more than I would have liked it to do. That just means I probably heated it up a little bit too fast. But it should still allow, it's still clear enough that we should be able to get some pretty good baits out of these. And now I'm stirring in the white side, or the white powder. It's gonna be like a pearl white color. And then I think I need to add some more because I don't want to add any color and I want to just keep it with the powders for something a little bit different. It kind of gives it a pretty cool effect. We're going to do a lot more on the blue side because I want it to really look blue. So I put a whole half teaspoon in there. So we should end up with like a nice pearly white on the bottom and then a nice blue on the top. And it should have a different kind of an effect than just using straight colorant. So hopefully this blue kind of turns out well once it gets all all mixed in and then we can try to pour these baits and see how they turn out might have to add a little bit of actual blue colorant in there just to kind of give it you know the look that we're going for okay so as you can see off camera i did add in some of that smoke blue pearl color it definitely changed everything up i don't know how this is going to turn out um, once these baits are made it's not turning out exactly how i was hoping for but you never really know so it's worth it to just keep going because these might turn out to be really cool so we'll just have to find out. We're gonna pull up our injector. We got our we got our mold right here, all ready to go. Come over with our injector, draw everything up. Check for flow. Move it over so you guys can see. Even pressure down. Doesn't take a lot of plastisol to get these done. These are two cavity molds. Even pressure down on the next one. Top off our sprue. Come over to our second mold, even pressure down. I like to hold that pressure a little bit so it gets the cavities all nice and filled up. And this is actually turning out better than the way they look in the cups. I actually think this might turn out to be a pretty cool bait, but it's one of those things you just never know. And one thing I didn't pay attention to that I just realized is which side's the top and which side's the bottom. So I have no idea how these are gonna turn out. I might have poured these on the wrong way. I have no idea at this point. We're just gonna have to Hope I did the right thing. Okay, well here goes nothing. I have no idea if I poured these correctly. I might have the white on top and the blue on bottom. They could be right. I, I have no idea. I might have totally messed this up. And let's see. 
No, actually, I hit it just right, but my colors didn't, they're not contrasting enough. It's probably not even coming through, but that's my white side, and that's my blue side. The, the contrast isn't very good, and I think I need to pour my plastics a little bit hotter, because they just didn't come out as clean and crisp as I would like. But overall, this swim bait definitely will catch a fish, but um, I might have to add a little bit more blue so I can get a little bit more contrast going. All right, here's mold number two coming out. I really like these swim baits though. I just like the design of them. I like how slender they are. I like the tail size. I think they're gonna have a good action in the water. I just, I like this overall bait. Um, I just gotta dial in this color a little bit better and I think that um, overall the entire thing is gonna turn out better. And one more thing guys, waterland fishing sunglasses. I haven't talked about them a lot in my tackle making videos, but I want you guys that make your own tackle to know about these sunglasses as well because they are awesome. I've been fishing with them and wearing them for a long time and wear them on the water, off the water. Doesn't matter, I've always got a pair of waterlands with me. They make awesome polarized sunglasses. They're gonna help you see into the water. They're gonna help you see brush piles, see fish, see submerged rock piles, see submerged grass, all those different things that you can see with a great pair of quality sunglasses, polarized sunglasses like a pair of waterlands are gonna help you catch more fish. One awesome thing about Waterlands is I have a discount code that you guys can take advantage of. That discount code is LUNA15. Waterlandcode.com and use the discount code LUNA15 to save you 15% off. So head over there, check out all their different frames, different lens colors, all kinds of stuff over there at the Waterland website. So check them out and I hope you guys buy. Make sure to use that discount code to save some money. So hopefully that color change is coming through on camera. I added a lot more of the smoke blue pearl colorant and I left everything else the same on the white side. So I think we should be ready to go. We're gonna draw up our plastisol. We're gonna check for flow, good flow. We're gonna come over to our mold, even pressure down. I'm gonna hold the pressure a little bit more. Um, I had a little bit of some spots that didn't quite come out the way I would like, so I'm gonna hold that pressure a little harder, a little longer. Top off the sprue, come over to the next one, hold that pressure. Top off our sprue. Same thing, hold the pressure. One thing that's really good about this mold is that it's vertical, so it makes making laminate colors a lot easier. The vertical pores just give you a lot of freedom with the laminates and everything like that. Um, I really like when they are vertical pour. Not every mold comes that way, but when they do, it just gives you a little bit more freedom than when they're not vertical. Okay, so I think our baits are ready to come out of the mold. I think the contrast is gonna come through better based on what I saw when I was taking the injectors apart and everything. So we will see, oh yeah, definitely came through better. Hopefully it's coming through on camera, but you can definitely see the contrast, like there's the bottom, the bottom white side, and then we have the blue up top, and then here's the other one. Yeah, definitely have that good contrast going on. Let's check out the other mold. See how those ones turned out. And these ones turned out pretty good. Definitely have a good contrast. And uh, that one didn't turn out very good, but we have this one over here that turned out pretty good. Good contrast, those baits will catch fish, guys. All right, so I just realized while I was getting this next set of baits ready to go, is that I've been doing my laminates wrong the whole time. I didn't pay attention to my mold well enough. I was doing them um, this direction, but I actually need to do it this direction to get the laminate the way I want. And I need my blue to go this direction as well. So hopefully these ones turn out a little bit better, but we're gonna go even pressure down, just like so. Top off our sprues. And again, even pressure down. Top off our sprues. The direction you pour the plastic salt into the mold is key because you might end up with your laminate not going in the right direction. You basically have a split color bait from one side to the other instead of the top and the bottom being different colors, which is what I was going for. I think these baits will still catch fish, but the laminate ended up not being how I wanted. I just didn't take the time to pay attention to my mold enough, which is my fault. But uh, I think these ones are gonna turn out a little bit better. Okay, so let's open up these baits and see how they turned out. They should be the better, a better direction. And my laminate should be blue on the bottom, which it is, that's the bottom. And, or no, it's white on the bottom, which is what I want, and then blue on the top, which is what I want. So these ones are done correctly. The other ones that I did earlier were not done correctly. 
So that's a little unfortunate, but I do like these swim baits. I think they're gonna be fish catchers. Okay, so we'll go to the next mold and check these ones out. Those ones look pretty darn good. I think the laminates, it's laminating very, very well. And I think my color has actually turned out pretty good. I think that blue and then that white are definitely gonna be something that'll catch fish. And I just think you can use this swim bait for so many different things. I bet you it's got a killer action. I haven't seen it in person out in the water, but I definitely think they're gonna be fish catchers. Okay, so this is gonna be our final round of baits. The last set of hopefully four. Yeah, I should be able to get all four out of there. Check flow, good flow. Go over to our mold, even pressure down. I poured these a little bit hotter, so I'm hoping that the mold cavities fill out a little bit better than some of the ones that I've done already. I think all the baits that I've made are definitely gonna catch fish. Some of them didn't turn out as well as I would have liked, so I think you gotta just pour this mold a little bit hotter than some of your other ones. The laminate works really, really well, so I don't think you're gonna have any issues by pouring it a little bit too hot. So far, it's just laminated really, really easily, really, really well. And uh, yeah, pretty much it. We got our last set of four going, and uh, hopefully they turn out well. All right, final round of swim baits. These brand, the brand new Quake and Shad swim baits. Really like how this mold looks. I like how it pours. Definitely think it's one to add to the arsenal. I definitely think pouring it a little bit hotter was helpful. Um, just this one especially filled in a lot better, but um, that's just something you might have to get used to. Every mold kind of acts differently in my opinion. They all have their own little quirks and you have to kind of get to know them. And after a while you just start figuring them out and then everything just becomes perfect every time. So this laminate color is definitely going to work. If you got thread fin shad, basically it, this is going to imitate any shad anywhere. Um, this thing's just going to catch fish guys. Well guys, there you have it. There's our finished swim baits right there. As you can see, nice blue color on top and then a nice pearl blue on the bottom. I just really like how these are thin. I like how they pour the laminates really well. But as you can see with like this guy, hopefully it's coming through on camera, it's a little bit not filled out all the way and I think that's just from pouring a little bit too cool. This mold, I think you gotta pour a little bit hotter. The laminate works very, very well. So even if you pour it a little bit hotter, I don't think the colors are gonna blend together too badly. I think you're gonna end up with a good, good laminate and everything's gonna just become really, really crisp and clean. This has a lot of detail with all those ridges and everything in it, so I just think that pouring it a little bit hotter will definitely benefit you. Well guys, there you have it, the brand new Quake and Shad mold, 4.25 inch swim bait. I really think this thing is gonna be a fish catcher. I definitely think it's one to add to the arsenal. I'm definitely gonna be making some for myself, but I'm giving these ones that we made in today's video to you guys. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, comment on today's video, like the video, and make sure to share this video out. Share it to Facebook groups, share it on your Instagram, share it wherever, anywhere will help. I'm just trying to grow the channel. I hope that these giveaways are a good way for you guys to share out the content. But guys, don't forget to use the affiliate link if you wanna go get this mold from the Duo Molds website. Definitely think it's a mold to add to the arsenal. Just make sure to use the affiliate link that is down in the description of today's video. It's the only way that Duo Molds knows that I sent you to their website to get this mold. So make sure to get that link that's down in the description of today's video. There's also gonna be a product list and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me make these baits today and good luck in the giveaway and I will see you in the next video. See ya.